So I've always had like a big sugar mama kink. Never really went for guys. Oh my fucking god. I see what I'm seeing. Yo, bro. Huh? This is natural? With a lot of money. I tried the sugar daddy thing. It sucked um, because I'm not really good at faking what I'm doing. So. Does size matter? I want your arm. You know, I like yeah. this length. The amount of money a guy makes matters to me. So, you know, and if you're not into that, then we wouldn't date. What up, YouTube? What's going on, guys? Before we start this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Put on the post notification because I'm Yo. thinking. Two people, I'm saying fishing buckaroonies who come in within the first thousand comments. So yeah, let's start the video. All porn stars think alike. Starting off strong. Does <laughs> dick size matter? Three, two. That's who we one. starting with? I mean, I get it. Neutral. Hold on, hold on. I'm in the way. I'm in the way. I'm in the way. Even. Can these niggas tell me I was in the way? <laughs> wait, get on the what line? Wait, wait, am I still in the way? Hold on. My fault. I'm fucking this video up. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, they just throw me up here. <laughs> <laughs> wait, get on the what line are you on? Oh, am I? I'm on the strongly agree. Oh, am I supposed to be on a line? This okay. is strongly agree. No, no that's disagree. strongly disagree. Oopsie. I <laughs> <wait. laughs> Yo. You'd be like, yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna stay there. I mean, it does matter because if a guy has a 13 inch dick, then we're kind of like, right? Like that's like a little too big. That's kind of neutral. Y'all mesmerized right now. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Shorty right here, I don't know who this is, who this woman is. I want her. Who is this? Long story short, might be watching her content sooner or later. Sooner than later, pardon me. Because what? She's thick as fuck. Who is this? I don't know if y'all can see my fucking... Well, no, over here on no, it's They need like, to well, drop their name. Well, yeah, right. because it matters. If you have a big dick, you're going to look cooler when you're fucking it. That doesn't matter as much as technique. <laughs> you know? that's true, that's I like true. six inches. Yeah, but I'm saying like dick size matters as in like there's certain extremes where I'm like, This I is can't a crazy combo. Like yeah. some guys are so big, you're like a holiday penis. Like you're good for Christmas and New Year's and my birthday, but I can't do you every day. I would need a wheelchair. So in that case, it does matter because I'll die. So I need a Can smaller I be dick. Because if his dick is super big, I'll have to cheat on him all the time with a two incher. Okay, I'm, I'm neutral on this. Yeah. What about if I'm the neutral. dick is too small? Exactly, that's why size matters. It's either too small or too big. I feel like the nice wiggle room is like five to eight inches, and then once it's above, if it's above that, my cervix is bruised, and if it's below that, I don't feel your teeny weeny. But then when fans ask you to- Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I clicked on this video. I know I did. Low key, this is wild. I'm, I'm like, I guess it's insightful. Does size matter? Because these are workers. Shout out to all the sex workers. You feel me? That's doing God's work. You know what I'm saying? I grew up off. Some, well, not them. These ladies right here, but I, I can name a couple that I did grew up off. I ain't even gonna lie. And people say no. I always say. Did she get surgery. She yes, thick as, as, long as you're not fuck, like nigga. She thick as fuck. Yet crazy from the front. You could peep it. Orange or, or that's that southern orange thick. Is fine. Orange, okay. orange yeah, is fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look at this, bro. This is the. Why is my shit? I don't know. She like is this surgery? She's southern thick. Where is she from? I need to know her. My days, bro. <laughs> Four inches is four great. inches. Four point five is the average uh, size in America. It's just great. Together. No, okay. There's such a thing as too big of a, d but I don't think there's such a thing as too small of a, d because we've all had sex with each other and we're all like pussy because owners I, and huh? we've all made each other bust. I hope. Yeah. So yeah. and it didn't matter what our d sizes were. Yeah, no, if it's a micro, it's just like scissors. I got a tiny. Yeah. It's the same thing. 
I like scissoring. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Put enough spit there. <laughs> In my case, I just think some <laughs> are just too big. Yes, agree. I agree with that. I no, disagree, same. but I like to swallow swords, so <laughs> what can I say? I like all swords of size, queen. <laughs> I think it's very much up to personal preference, too. Yeah. Right, like if I, you know, if a guy pulls down his pants, if he, if he has like a two incher, a 13 incher, I'm like, we can work with this, bro. We can find something that'll both help us feel pleasure and relief. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. love all answer. sizes. For a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One time thing, I don't think size matters at all, but if you're looking longevity wise, then yeah, you don't want 13 inches. I could, but like. <laughs> <laughs> I say no because. Aha, we gotta. <laughs> Reel her in. Are you fucking crazy? Violet mine? Anime enthusiast. I already liked her. I like, look, she looked good. Well, body wise, her face is not. Feel me? Name is different. Anime enthusiast? I'm there. She got me. She got me. I can't even lie to y'all. Who is this woman? We found her. <laughs> I'm about to uh, go support. You heard? I think y'all should too. I'm a good judge of character. I think that you feel me? Whatever y'all about to put into that. I don't want to take a big, but I'm also agreeing with Kazumi. With Kazumi is a fire name. Too big is like, yeah, size does matter. So maybe Look. I'm neutral. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm neutral. Porn I think wise, that's natural. I think that's big fucking is what they natural. like, and that looks better on camera. But personal life, two inches is fine for me. I'm going to fuck you good anyway. Size doesn't matter. I think it's about girthiness, really. If we're oh, talking I can't take girth. Really? I like girth. Oh, I can't take I personally prefer a chode over like yes. a really long, long skinny, skinny. Day. I feel like, like it's a pencil. Yeah. I would like like a little like thick that's three inches way more mm -hmm. than like a 10 inch that's like like super thin i feel like that would just skew oh, me. i can't feel that or like a little that's curve <laughs> curves scare me curves scare me. it like hits like the it's like, yeah. it's like a hook. no even even sucking it is like not fun because you're like oh it feels yeah. like a hook but i I feel like for me, there's so no, many other sexual crazy. actions that can happen to where it doesn't even matter to the point where it doesn't matter to me because we can do oral or foreplay. And honestly, foreplay and making out will get me off way quicker than even getting fucked. Yeah. Um, and I love fingering and fisting. So I feel Ooh. like that's why, like, overall, it's. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, shit is getting wicked, bro. On the fist? Nah. How do I like? I don't even know how that became a like. Like how that even became a technique. Like there's a whole lubrication and technique you gotta do to pre pre pipe the fit. Like, how is that pleasurable, my nigga? Son got his the elbow just hanging out. How? What? A, what? A, uh, what's this? The wrist just hanging out. Nah, ma. Vaginas is crazy. It doesn't really matter because there's so many other like cool things you can do. I yeah. would yeah. say the better okay. I've gotten at sex, the less a size matters. Cause if I like learning how to ride small is such a good skill set that feels really good because it basically feels like scissoring. And when I didn't really know how to, I preferred big because I felt like they did more work. It's but easier. now that I know how to be more active during sex, especially with riding. I've been preferring small and like knowing how to interact with different sizes. One of my biggest problems was I used to f a lot of frat boys. So they That's didn't do problem. foreplay. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep. So like foreplay wasn't a thing. So for like only the little guys do foreplay. <laughs> That's fucked up. I'm not, I'm not, never mind. I don't think it matters. I can get off different ways. So I'll stay here. Well, I think. Size does not matter. I can come on all dicks. Just, you know. <laughs> what, what's too small or too big for you? Wow. <laughs> 13 inches, a little bit too big, but I would like to try. I still like to fuck that cock. There's no too small for me. <laughs> is that a joke? Was that a, never mind, Wait, never mind, never mind, chill. And then yo, the yo. Word. <laughs> Chill on me, gang. I'm just saying. I don't know the way she said it. I think that was a little bit of a dark, dark. She got a little bit of dark humor in her, cause what I thought was crazy. We all kind of are like, yes. 
Let me know if y'all peeped that. Oh, oh my gosh. It's going to be a good day on Bro. set. Yeah. I'm the opposite. I'm like, make me look cool and make me look good. Like, give me the toughest shit. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. That's dedicated. Yo, them fuck. Yo. Hold on. Make me look good. Like, give me the toughest shit. Let's go. Yeah. Them fuck. What the fuck did she do to them? Is them ones? Man. I don't understand where, why I was wearing dirty white sneakers like a thing. I don't get that, bro. You don't see that shit? I don't think I can see that shit, bro. That shit give me vex. Yeah, <laughs> that's dedicated. I want your arm, you know? I like yeah. this line. The amount of money a Oh my fucking God, my nigga. Do y'all see the validity of the, the pond the waist, bro? Pond the... It's just like, gat yeah, at this point is, is an understatement, my nigga. Body is literally Coke bottle interior. Like, shorty look like she. Man, I'm about to go to one of these 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 cons where you go, you feel me, and, and go see and speak to them because she. I gotta find her person. I make. I know it looks better. Yes. <laughs> this is yeah. I wonder if it's natural. Is it natural? My fault. I ain't even hear the question. My fault. My fault. My fault. I like yeah. this line. All right, chill out. The amount of money a guy makes matters to me. Mm. <laughs> they ain't making money, so I don't know. So I, in recent years, I've come to realize that like a lot of men are intimidated about my income. If I yeah. were to take a guy on vacation, the whole time he's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I wish I could afford this for you. I, sh I could do these things. And in my mind, I feel like it's kind of like him thinking because he's the man that he should make a higher income. And we always have like a weird power play with that. I just think that I would have better relationships if they had their own money at the same equivalent. I don't think it matters because for me, like when I date someone, either it's Wait, because I really just- Does this vibe have, is that an OnlyFans chain? Did she ice out a OnlyFans chain? She the big homie, my nigga. This is the big homie right here, cuz. Are you shitting me? OnlyFans iced out is crazy like being around you or I like having sex with you and hopefully if we're dating I like both of those things all my boyfriends I've ever had I've always paid for everything so it's also just kind of been a normal part of my dating experience but I've never really minded it because I've always chosen partners who've contributed in my life differently because the partners I've had have been able to spoil me in different ways like their emotional intelligence and their time and I find like those things to be priceless compared to when I talk to richer guys and I just feel like they're douches and I feel like they have like a weird power trip because they do equivalent their value to money. I have always liked mm. guys who are passionate about what they do. So it's not like money is a big factor. It's like, I don't want someone who's doing something because they think that they can make a lot of money. I don't like that. But I've also dated guys after starting OnlyFans that like want me to pay for everything and then kind of want me to be a sugar mama. So like, I want them to at least make enough to where they don't rely on me to pay for everything. I just want them to do something that they're passionate about. I think people who work only for money are just like a lot more miserable in life. That's a I, fact. I, Look at her, dropping jewels. Dropping jewels. Who is this young lady? Agree with that completely. I think the thing that's most attractive to me is somebody who's driven and success is attractive as well. Even if they're not making, you know, top dollar, if they're successful in whatever they're passionate about, I think that equates to a reasonable income. I That's not one of my things that I look for is financial, only because my mom always taught me from when I was a young. He was raised right. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You was raised right, ma. I don't give a fuck what you about to say. I, uh, you already got me. She already got me. I don't know. I, first love, first sight. I didn't even believe in that shit till today. <laughs> Look the. All right, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Young age to always get my own That's money and to do it on my own to never depend on a man. So when I started dating and going for men who were, I guess, like at a higher, higher rate than I was as far as like income, they were just like really too flashy and they didn't have a lot of interest that I have. So when I was starting to go for more normal guys or guys who either made the same amount of money or less, they were way nicer and we had more in common. So I don't know. I just never really went for guys with a lot of money. I tried the sugar daddy thing. It sucked um, because I'm not really good at faking what I'm doing. Yo, listen, my young guys do none of that over here. <laughs> you don't do none of that over here. Come on over. You are. I ain't going to be a sugar daddy. I ain't gonna be, I'm going to be wild interested. We got this. I can already tell we are we here with it. You feel me? It, it ain't even nothing to think about. It's not even a thought. 
You know what I mean? So let's you and me get together. You, you know what I mean? And, and, and make something happen. Nah, fuck, make something. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> Word. Oh, I feel like broke guys fuck better. They do. Wow. Holy fucking shit, bro. <sighs> Woo! I mean, niggas ain't. Niggas gotta be good at something. <laughs> niggas gotta be good at something. <laughs> Word. As, as my nigga Denzel would say, niggas leaving here with something. <laughs> Can't be bad at everything. No they fuck like you, they need a home. Now I'm saying that. Like they need a home is crazy. CEOs, CEOs better, especially when they're fucking you in their suits. Trust me. Yeah, well, you can so like, buy a suit. Get like, them a suit. They that's have like, money. Yeah, they and that's like you. another reason why. It's not because I want to be sugar. I don't want them to sugar daddy me. It's I want a businessman that runs their own business that's a CEO the same way I am. I don't know. Maybe I should go over there to your lot. Because <laughs> I agree. I agree with. I agree with you. Like yeah. I like the power play. I love fucking older people. I'm not gonna date a bum, but I do like regular girls and guys. But and then when I travel, <sighs> normal. I wouldn't say normal people, but people who work at McDonald's or something. They can't pay to go on a trip, and I don't want to have to be the one to like constantly pay for us to go on trips. That's not fair to me. I feel like my love language is gift giving, so I've always had like a big sugar mama kink. Like I've always like, <laughs> yeah. I just like to take care of someone, especially like I just feel like a lot of men. Kind of like her too. Sugar mama kink is mad funny though, but. Aren't taken care of, and they'll get compliments. And I just like to make them feel really good with like buying them roses and spoiling them in ways. And then, uh, and also, I don't know. Every time I talk to like a, a rich guy, he always sucks ass. Like it's he's, LA. Yeah, it's LA. Yeah. You gotta talk to rich guys outside of LA. International. <laughs> International. <laughs> For me, I would like um, the guy that take me on trip, take me out to a nice restaurants, wear a nice suit, dress nice, to go to nice places. It's not like he have to make a like top dollars it's at least his have the money to provide um yeah i think it makes more sense i'm not saying here talk like that Date someone like on the same playing field as yourself i mean dating someone with a little less money is fine too if they're like grinding and like on their come up like i'll rock with you too um so i have actually dated plenty of men who are unemployed and i didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> so I really don't mind being the one who pays for it if my partner can't afford it. But I also really do enjoy being uh, given gifts, right? Even if he isn't making a lot of money, like getting me a little chocolate from like 7-Eleven. But I do appreciate somebody who is making enough money to show me love in a gift giving way, even if it's really tiny. Sex work is easy money. Wait, this is, this is, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if we were all in oh agreement. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Violet. Holly, you guys are a neutral. Why is that? I say yes because when you're attractive, I can just post a titty picture and then I make money off that. So I say it's easy in that way. But no because of what we mm. go through mentally and physically when we do these scenes where we have to train for anal, do gangbangs, and it's not really as easy as people make it seem. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't think so. I feel like OnlyFans like made it try to make it easier because it, it blocked it took away the middleman or like it was on some streaming shit. Like you don't gotta go and and become like a a, a porn girl in the industry now. You can just do the shit from home now. So it's on some home home filled DVD DVD type shit. You know what I mean? So I mean in that sense, but like realistically, man, that shit. And you could do your own content, or you could you, you know what I'm saying. You could specifically bring who you want to bring on there versus when you in the porn industry. I'm pretty sure you gotta have sex with whoever's available. Or whoever you can pick from, or whoever makes the most sense. So, you know what I'm saying? Gotta be some business move. Easy for some things, but that it's really hard for crazy. other things. You know, we're such a small representation of people who do porn when there's hundreds of thousands of people who aren't as successful or nice. don't look the, the same way as us, and they still absorb that same amount of risk of like social stigma and the way people treat us and the way people talk to us and date us and the way we try to buy houses. And But on top of that, I feel like becoming a successful sex worker or a successful entertainer, you can't be stupid. You know, you have to have like some type of wit and some type of creativity about you because unlike most 
forms of entertainment. There is no handbook for becoming a successful porn, porn star, star or OnlyFans girl. On top of the fact know. that, that yeah, triple easy. anal is hard, but also like, <laughs> you know, like yeah, the all fuck? the hate can be hard. Even with thick skin, it can be extremely difficult. And you know, like my parents don't even know what I do because it would be such a bad time for me. So I feel like in that aspect, mm. it is hard. So but your parents don't know what you do? Just going out there and it's actually being your own CEO. So like, I have a company, I have 40 employees. I manage it every day. I have people that depend on me and my body, literally working my ass off for this brand. And on top of that, my 10 years in porn, I have pinched two nerves in my back and slipped a disc just from pile driver. And I have some health problems um. now from all the times that I've cleaned out. I've had stitches in my vagina Jay, um, from scenes, what? so I don't think people really take that into this shit dangerous. <laughs> this shit dangerous, my nigga. This is the part they need to start showing the youth and shit, my nigga. This shit dangerous. Like what? I remember when I was young, I used to see these. You see porn stars, I used to be like, I used to, I want to be one of them. I want to be in the scenes, violating, or not violating like that. Not get sure these getting pile drive, probably donkey. Son is putting her in the motherfucking full Nelson. Probably hitting her with the arm drop, arm bar, all that, my nigga. There's no reason why she... Two this drop? Fuck, she got hit with the walls of Jericho, my nigga? Hell no. Hell no, bro. Something ain't right. <laughs> Something ain't right. Stitches? What the fuck is going on, bro? Maybe... But I get it, though. I kind of get it, bro. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. This shit dames. Oh, and, bro. I could be wrong. I don't want to slander my girl. My good... My good... Yo. Shorty, I, I was telling y'all earlier, I grew up off some shit. Yo, Pinky. I don't know if it's true or not. Please don't kill me. This clip come out later on or whatever. I think I have read that she had got like sexually transmitted disease, allegedly. And she out of the game. Shit like that, my nigga. Like your life is forever altered. That was my bitch. Nigga ain't, nigga ain't go like look up random shit on porn. Nigga, I went straight the pinky, nigga. If you don't, if any of you young niggas say y'all, first of all, anybody in my age group, y'all niggas say anything else, you niggas wasn't doing the shit properly, my nigga. Pinky was the, what? She was that work nigga she was at work i can name a couple other ones she was at the top of the list short thick is fuck black woman out here sucking and fucking like a maniac you heard disgusting loved it up <laughs> shit me like that was slutty Count, like, classy slut respectfully watch your mouth when you're talking about her should it get crazy for you my nigga word actually when you perform on a certain level you're a sexual athlete like, if you do a dp sexual i don't think you guys have done Crazy it. Term. it feels like you've been in a 20 mile car wreck the next day. Oh, no. Right? Like, you know, like I, I just got hit, month. got in a car accident oh, at 20 miles might per hour. Watch that. I'm going to speak on the black girls in the industry. Pretty or not, they have it really tough. Yeah, there's racism in every industry, but for black women just taking off their clothes in a sex industry, it's not the same playing field. It's completely different. Why is it completely different? Like, what kind of struggles do you guys go through? I want to hear that. Yeah, there's talk hair shit, situations, man. there's makeup situations, there's maybe the white guy's not really attracted to the black girl and he mentions it on set and then he's like, fuck, you have to fuck you. But why the fuck did you tell me that? Yeah. I, don't, I don't need to hear that. Like, let's just do it and make our money and go home. But you have that, directors being racist, girls, black girls not being hired as much as white girls. Yeah, so the money's very different between a white performer and a black performer. There was just something the other day, a girl couldn't wear her afro on set, like her natural hair what? on set. They're like, no, we have to do something to your hair. That's messed up. Yeah. That's so messed up. I was like, can't even. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all gonna kill me for that much? You don't give a fuck. I mean, it's like, man, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but I'm gonna say something. Like, she don't care, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> that was funny as shit. It's also emotionally draining having to respond to like subscribers sometimes. Nah, but I'm glad she just shared that too. I'm glad she shared that. No funny shit. I'm so happy. Cause I hear about shit like that too, man. That's fucked up. Cause already you're a porn star, you probably feel crazy as it is. But to be it's discriminated like, I haven't in had that sex with particular a man spot in over too. A year, and it's like subs are always like, "Well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Like, what I'm doing is not enough for them." And that also takes an emotional toll. They want so much, but yeah. before OnlyFans, it was just like you could only see us in movies online. Mm -hmm. Now that they have OnlyFans, they're like, mm -hmm. "You're mine." Yeah. No, yeah. we need like time. I think one of the craziest things is we could talk about all the issues we face, and a lot of the comments are going to prove us exactly right because they'll still be like, "You chose this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like that's, yeah. that's what I've been thinking this entire yeah. time. Like, I could say like, "Oh, this is so 
look sad, and they'll be like, well, you decided to be a whore. Yeah, and, but you what, know? Is, what, is my, what is my job have- Those are bots, ma. Chill. Don't pay them no more. do with the treatment of you. Just because I decided that this is what I wanted to do doesn't mean I've decided to allow you to treat me with that type of um, mannerisms because I decided to expose my body online. I think sex works is, is easy, like, in a sense where I could just, like, pull my tits out and, like... That's what my girl said. Like, yo, yo, you trying to, you trying to jack with my wifey, said? I ain't gonna lie, what's up? What's up? You agree as well? I don't know, I don't know. You opposition? Don't be, don't be talking, you feel me? Make sure you agree on with wife. Minimum wage job working 40 hours a week. But also, oh, ah, yeah, yeah, okay, the okay, mental okay. toll and the physical toll of just like putting yourself on display every day isn't easy. If you are a very conventionally attractive white woman, it is easy to start in the beginning, but you need to be smart enough to continue that momentum. I, as a tall, you know, chubbier, bigger woman, have faced plenty of Yo, they called her a pog. What the fuck is that? What's a pog? I seen this video of this black dude said, I like, I like them pogs. And then now I see her. What the fuck is a pog? You know they be having a, first of all, if, I, if that's not what you're supposed to be called, pardon me. I know certain people like to be called certain shit, pronouns and all that word. I don't want no smoke with none of y'all niggas. Hm. I'm just asking. <laughs> Educate me. Niggas wilding out. Before y'all even get started in the comments or whatever, chill. I really want to know. I'm genuinely curious towards opportunities working with people because of my size and it is hard there are plenty of women who have bigger bodies and my body does not determine my success but it there's that that's definitely another peg that is difficult to climb and yo no funny shit not the cough yo it's something out there for everybody but i'm not just like saying that it's not difficult i'm just saying real shit it's something out there for everybody niggas is freaks bitches is freaks they gonna find you <laughs> trust me mean especially the internet <laughs> Straight up, people people can be very mean you know echoing what adriana said there are plenty of people that are going to comment on this youtube video and be like you chose this work you knew what you were signing up for you don't know me you don't know my situation you don't know you know what health issues i may have maybe this is all i can do for people to comment mm. like oh you know slut whore whale fat like a bunch of other things it's hard. I said neutral just because I took it from like a personal standpoint and I find sex work easy for me. I'm a horny gal, so. Ah, shit. Word. <laughs> you know, when I was working like a nine to five, I used to work in a nightclub industry and one, not only did I have to fit my sex life around the crazy hours I was working, too, I got sexually harassed way more in that industry than I ever have on a porn set. Obviously speaking, you know, I have the privileges of being white, conventionally attractive, all of that. I really enjoy. doing it I haven't had a bad experience yet that might change and obviously everyone's experience is different but for me personally it's the easiest and best job I've ever had I'm open to hooking up with my fans did I say that where's yes this is yes yes that's no that's no oh word oh word wifey on that I gave a wifey on that we out, nigga. Yo, listen. Work. I'm manifesting it right now. I have to meet her. I'm telling y'all niggas. You feel me? I'm really telling you. feel me? I'm really talking to the to almighty and all that, but I'm talking to y'all niggas. I'm manifesting it. Make it happen. Internet, do whatever y'all niggas do. I want to meet Violet Marie. Violet. If I'm butchering your name, love, I'm sorry. You feel me? I know we know each other, but you feel me? Or wifey. I'm just call you wifey. That's all that matters. One time and the competition was for the disabled and I had an experience of a fan and he was completely blind he'd only heard my voice on podcasts and I remember I asked him if he was an ass or titty guy he said titty guy and I let him touch my boobs for so long and I know <laughs> and I know that that moment mattered so much to him because a lot of people don't realize that disabled people are horny and also have the same needs as wants. Yo, as she, yo, I ain't gonna lie. She like the Mother Teresa of uh, of the porn industry. I mean, of the, like, of this shit right now, bro. She over here thinking she's mad thoughtful. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, she's wild thoughtful. Like, letting a blonde nigga touch your titties? I mean, you could hear about some shit like that on the subway in New York somewhere or some shit like that. She's top of her game. Only fans chain iced out. Shit, probably like 10 bands. I'm probably shit. I probably shit it. It's probably way more than that. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I watched another video. She's like top earner. You heard? She don't got to do none of this shit. She be out spoiling niggas, buying niggas flowers, making niggas feel good, paying for trips. Sugar mama kink. 
what bad can I say about her? She's out here gift giving in all kinds of ways and all avenues. I'm just saying, y'all niggas, I, I gotta support this. I have to. She, she, she doing, she's doing Everyone God else. giving. I just give some like, she's doing God's work. <laughs> having a good time, man. Like, why the fuck not? I don't care if you're a fan or not. I mean, I feel like anyone that me now has probably seen my porn, so they probably are already a fan. Low key, so yeah. I feel like they try harder. I feel like my fans are cute, and I like to make men happy. It's like my purpose. I like to. I'm saying though. I'm say I'm saying though. What's up? She is like I don't, bro, bro, bro. Somebody talk to me, my nigga. Somebody, talk, somebody come in and talk to me. She's out here just doing God's work. This is just feel me. This is a, he literally sent this angel here personally. I don't know what y'all niggas is not seeing. Get on this. Become a fan and you might have a chance. You heard? I like them horny. I like boners. I like everything. Yeah, I don't I'm not subscribing to the OnlyFans. You heard? She got to be free. I ain't gonna lie. Anything more flattering than hooking up with someone who is obsessed, obsessed with you? <laughs> like They're anyone excited. that I would want to date, I would want my partner to be like adore me and be obsessed with me and be my biggest fan. I don't know. She sounded time was set. Adore me. Like I, li I kind of like that. I ain't gonna lie. And so why wouldn't I be a fan? So what I try to establish with my fans is kind of like a relationship. I feel like a lot of them are dating me. Um, they picture me as their girlfriend. So obviously you want to your girlfriend. And then um, also I do a lot of fan stuff because one of the best things you can do when you're building a business, so you want to build a niche clickable group. So that way you have these inside jokes or you have these other people that are going to be like, I got to f Adriana Chechik. Okay. Oh, I haven't the fan yet, but I'm definitely open to it. I mean, I see the text that you guys send in and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fans are, I think, the biggest dicks. Yeah. They do. Soon enough. Yeah. Soon enough, yeah. I'm sure. I'm like, why is it so big? You should be in porn. I, I, always have, I always have fans who have the best loads. Like, I've, I've done scenes where they've just come and drop loads on me, and, like, even porn directors who have filmed it have been like, why are they better than male talent? And I'm like, because they're not jaded and they're excited to be here. Like what you have said, mm -hmm. like they're excited to be with you. They're excited for the experience. Wait, wait, so take wait. Take a bunch of shit to keep them. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You got, wait, hold on. I've been listening because you feel me? I know a part of this is about listening. You niggas just pull up and rent, bust in the basket and pull up and dump that? What happened? I'm bugging? That's what's, wait, wait, that's what's going on? Yo, bro, am I stupid? Am I dumb? I don't want to go back though. You go, you know? I strongly agree and agree because I've a couple fans. One was disabled like yours. He had autism. Oh. He, I thought I was going to die. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, what? Die though, honestly. <laughs> because of the autism? Yeah, he choked me out, and oh. I was like looking outside the. <laughs> oh, bro, yo, 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 the window to like the neighbors like this is it y'all <laughs> <laughs> I just met him I was like I just yeah. met him but yeah this is it <laughs> you see on the back she was on but yeah I, I like to see my fans because they know me we talk like it's personal and they're kind of weird like, yeah <laughs> yeah they like what you like because yeah. they watch you we so talk about better. video games like video like they're cool. Um, I have a lot of my fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just sure. like I to fans because like you don't know them, like you just chatting with them online and then all of a sudden just meeting them and then getting excited and sometimes they put out this trick like it's really good sex and some of them are really cute. They try hard. Yeah. yeah. I like yeah. they try hard. <laughs> and you can be demanding to them too because yeah. they're also like, oh my god, this is great. So like you can be like, no, get down on the floor and fucking do this right now, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> if there is that. <laughs> Sometimes, Listen, like, guys, 
like try to play it cool and they're like, oh, whatever, like it doesn't matter if we f or not. And I'm always like, you're a loser, dude. Because yeah. I have guys begging to f me and I want a guy who like is on his knees. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, worship us, we deserve it. So well, wifey, dude, I need wifey to speak on this. I ain't gonna lie, I, I fuck with all y'all in here, Mother Teresa and all that and uh, you feel me? S the sister that's been out here gift giving, all crazy, you know what I'm saying? Fucking, aut uh, fucking autistic homie. Uh, but so or, my entire page, I do cater to like what is known as like a girlfriend experience, kind of similar to Adriana. I like to get really personal with my fans. I offer a lot of things like video game dates and e-dates and stuff like that. I haven't f***ed a fan yet, but I really want to. There are some where I'm like, hey, you're actually really cute and I'm really <laughs> vibing with you. And like, do you want to come over and anime and chill? Because I'm also like a very like nerdy girl at heart. And so a oh, lot yeah. of the men that we know that I meet, you know, they don't have a lot of in a good way, in a good way, in a good and they way, don't sure, normally sure. get a lot of female attention. And I just love making them feel as confident as they should feel about themselves. And I'm like, hey, like nerdy guys are my type. Like, <laughs> trust me, you have a you have a chance, bro. <laughs> well, I pretty much started yeah, from the beginning of my career doing the fans because I wasn't really shooting that much and I was constantly online so i had time to just hang out and be with my fans and relationships are hard in this industry hmm. i'm in there yes. yeah Wait. it's, oh, wait, it's, it's no. like that for wait me. this way no. this is yes yeah this is no <laughs> for sure relationships have always been really easy for me sorry <laughs> <laughs> sharded <laughs> Man, if I'm dating Doc someone, Martin. I give them the, enough respect to let them know everything there is about me, even my piss kink, because I what? want them to Yo, have the space to make that judgment. I had it. Never mind. Never mind. And on their own, if they want to fuck with me or not. If I'm going to prolong these important conversations, even if it wasn't about sex and porn, I would basically be wasting my time and like heading towards the inevitable, inevitable, which is finding people that don't fuck with that. So I've always been really straight up like, hey, like this is what I'm about, this is what I'm into, and I own that. This is my life and it really fulfills me. I will never be monogamous. If there's one thing I like more than it's new every single day. So, you know, and if you're not into that, then we wouldn't date. I attract exactly what I am, so I feel like I date fellow sluts. So they kind of get the game. I've been in a Yo, I, yo, I ain't even gonna lie. Outside of wifey, you feel me? Outside of the gal, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with her. She's dumb, honest. She's out here doing. Got like I, I can't say nothing negative about her, unless this is all a facade and this is all lies for the internet or whatever, bro. I'm, I'm fucking with her. She, like, she's mad honest. Like you can't be mad at that, nigga. She's letting you know off rip. Like, look, you feel me? I may not agree with some of the shit, but I gotta, I got a jacket, like. Bro, like, I wouldn't get into it, but, like, you can't be mad at her. She's dumb honest, letting you know off rip. Like, yo, son, I fuck with you. Ah, uh, but I'm over here to, you know what I'm saying? Word. It's, I got to get mine, nigga. I'm leaving here with something. In a long-term open relationship for years now, and even before I did porn, I'm just surrounded by my circle of people who agree with what I agree with. So I'm always going to be dating people who understand sex work. So it's never been hard for me because people who wouldn't agree with that have never been an option to me. Just to clear things up, what is your piss kink exactly? I love to get pissed on. You do? Yeah. See what what, what else could room. it be? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just asking for the idiots that are watching this. For the idiots. Well, what else could a piss kink be? Like, yeah. Like you like drinking it? <laughs> no, I'm like a gargler. Some people like it oh. in them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had pee in oh, my pussy. Yeah. So have pee I. But pee feels nice. Oh. It's warm. It yeah. Is what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Word, this is a thing? I thought they, like, you feel me? I mean, ah, I, yo. I thought it was just, like, on the body or some shit like that. I ain't know what's in and all that. Very warm. And then warm. they can out a little bit. It's nice. It's happened to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're trying to also, like, sneeze it out. I don't know if anyone Very else is that way, but... I don't yeah, know if like, it cleans oh, it out. It's nice now. Right. It feels evil in there. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, relationship is hard. This is true story. I was on Hinge at one point, like dating site. Yes, I was posting my profile and this guy act like he doesn't know who I am and ask me out. So when we got to the bar or whatever, thank God it's a bar, it's not a restaurant. <laughs> so he started talking this, oh, do you want to tell me anything? 
oh, how about your online things? This person not really just wanted to date me. He wanted to like ask me out to see if I'm real or maybe like have a sex with me. Yeah. Um, I find mm. it incredibly okay. hard to date to the point where I actually like can't get dates. So there's two perspectives on that. So if I were to go meet somebody, it's kind of hard because I don't like random people to know my real name. So obviously I'm meeting them as Adriana Chechik and that's extremely hard. It's intimidating. Um, I've had guys literally walk out on me when I've met them because they're so intimidated by me. And then also yeah. I've done some of the most extreme sex acts on camera that guys can't swallow or get past. I currently do kind of live like a little bit of a lonely life. There's another aspect where guys only want to date me to like show show me off to other people or their friends. They immediately mm. treat me like the Adrianic Adriana Chechik like experience, right? So like if I was gonna go meet a guy, like they would never hold my hand or, f or anything. The first thing they do is they try and like have sex with me. So it's really like disheartening to be honest. And I've kind of just given up. I feel like sadly, mm. I actually feel like I might not ever- it's Hard side of this shit, man. Like it's the hard side of this forever. shit, man. It's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, so I think there are plenty of people who are immediately not an option for me because <gasps> I also practice yeah, ethical non-monogamy. I have been in an open relationship for a few years now. He was with me when I started to get into the sex work industry, and there were a lot of battles there. Um, a lot of men feel intimidated, especially if you work with other men. They're like, oh, I can't live up to, you know, the people that you're working with. I don't know how to do this. And there are a lot of intimacy problems that can occur. Yeah, that's why I think it's hard, but it's also not hard depending. I think you just need a lot of communication. I agree that it's really hard. Um, once you get into a relationship, baby, the fans baby, feel love, like- Love, love, love. It's never gonna be hard. <laughs> we together, sure. Don't worry about nothing. Make this shit this experience. This your experience with me is gonna be mad good. You don't even gotta worry about none of that. Lock, we locked in. You heard? I'm just saying. They're not in the same <coughs> relationship anymore. So to be with someone like me, you're gonna have to understand that I can't be posting you. I can't be ex like showing you off how I don't give a fuck about with that. me because my fans are not only gonna feel. Yo, they listen, listen. I'm mad understanding. I understand that that is your that's your bread and butter. That's where you get your breach from. I don't even care to get posted. You heard? And if I do, it, throw me in the close friends. Just put me in there. You heard? <laughs> Just let me know that. Let 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 me know that you know that we know. You heard? Word. But come on, son. We don't, I don't even care about none of that. That's light shit. That's your breach. Why would I? I would never come in between you and your money making love. I know this is how you you feel me get yours. I ain't worried about that. Bugging. As long as we feel me, we on the same page at the crib. Communication, man. We straight. I ain't worry about that. I ain't worry about it. Don't don't ever even think or fathom even come to that kind of conclusion <laughs> word titled but they're also going to be disrespectful to you they're going to be sending you screenshots of my work and telling you very hateful things and i feel yes. like you have to be mentally prepared, prepared to for date Fuck a them. sex worker or a performer because of what yo i don't care about that them niggas listen they not if they send anything to me block <laughs> don't care it don't matter. Comes with I probably already seen you. You know, one. coming home sometimes, or I don't want to have sex. You're gonna have to be okay with not like wanting to have sex, and oh, it's sure. just a lot that comes with it. So oh, I think sure. it's really hard. And being bisexual is a hit or miss too, because the women outside the industry can't understand how you take the film. Yes, <laughs> that and happens gay. to me. Like what? Like that happens to me. So I'm on a website for women because I wanted to like me look too. for a girl. And they, if you, like real lesbians, don't want to interact with you if you've had a <gasps> inside of you. Yeah. And it's extremely hard. And like it's a job. Yeah. The fun. Not only is it a job, wait, hold on. You, as a lesbian woman, you're probably eight times out of 10, you're probably using a dildo. Is that not the same? Is model, is model after a real, is that not the, you know what? That's not, I'm not even supposed to understand that. That's not for me to understand. Word. <laughs> Y'all be safe. Yeah, but it's a job. Y'all be safe. Yeah. I'm coming home to you, and I'm going to take a shower before I go to bed with you. Yes. <laughs> Please. I love what I do right now. I love sex. I love everything about the industry. But I'm also, I'm 21. So right now, I'm not looking for anything super long term. Relationship wise, I'm very monogamous. So when I do get to that point, I think I will have wanted to leave the industry so that I can pursue that to the extent that I want to. If I was trying to find a monogamous relationship right now, it would be basically impossible with what I do for work. 
I'm on the same page as Holly. Once I get into a relationship, I probably will want it to be monogamous, and I think it'll just work best if I'm more out of the scene once I want to get into one. And you're barely getting into the scene, right? Well, I've done OnlyFans for three years, but I'm going to start working with more people now and yeah. doing porn, so I'm very excited. Woo! Woo! Yeah. I always said that no one wanted to date me in the first place, so I feel like OnlyFans honestly made it a lot easier to find people who wanted to date me. I feel like I'm my most authentic self with OnlyFans. I haven't been in a long-term relationship, and this is like very specific to me. Again, no one wanted to date me in the first place, but like all of a sudden, all these guys want to take me out or want to do things with me that just no one wanted to do before. The thing's hard, too. It's like they want to Adriana Chachek, they don't want to this yeah. person. I'm like, dude, we can't do this no, all I don't the time. No, I swallow your dick all the time. Like, yeah. can I just lay there and do the zombie? Can we be subtle? Like, like, yeah, no, poor start subtle me, <laughs> eat me out. I always, wonder, I always wondered about that. I always wondered about that. Like, when it comes to the actual performance, right? When it comes to the actual performance, is it always upper extra long type performance? Or, like, is it just some regular shit when, it's, when you were whatever? But I just saw you on camera a couple of days ago at a scene on the scene uh on the set getting pile drop. It's kinda like realistically though, you can't get that activity all the time. So that makes sense. Shorty got three like a, a disc slip, stitches, all type of shit. You feel me? God bless her. She's she's doing good. <laughs> she's doing good. I know niggas niggas who've got less than that has happened to them. Not even in the porn industry, because I don't know them niggas. But I'm saying, like, let's, like construction jobs and shit like that happen. They, they out. They ain't even going back. They fuck around, find a whole, switch the career. She's a fucking trooper. Keep it a thou while with you. You already keep it a bean ski. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, it, I guess regular is kind of cool, man. <sighs> Damn, son. It's really, it's a, it's a lot, yo. I just learned a lot today. That's gonna actually gonna be lead to my next question, so let's get you guys in the middle. Do you guys think I'm cute? What the fuck? <laughs> This nigga's so, cooked. I don't know why I ran. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel yeah. that went? I think it's really cool that we were allowed to talk on. Um, yeah, this is fire. People don't really get to understand or hear so, and give them some insight into, you know, our personal opinions and feelings, especially with the like dating parts and the money stuff. A lot of people don't know that. So.